Hi, uh, welcome back to Informatica tutorial. In this uh, class, we will see how to load into flat file targets, how to load into uh, multiple targets, a flat file and a table, and how to create a target load plan. So basically, in Informatica, the big advantage, as we discussed earlier, is uh, it can load into any type of source and read from any type of source and load into any type of target. So Suppose our uh, data source is a database table uh, employees and our target is a flat file and we want to load using Informatica Power Center. So it it's not very different from uh, loading into a database table. So we have seen earlier how to load into a database table. So let's see how to load into a flat file. So first of all, I need to create a flat file target in target designer so i already have employees table here a definition here in the target designer so what i can do is i can simply drag and drop in the same place the employees target object so do you want to copy yes and rename i will say ff underscore employees that is a standard practice to ff is flat file basically uh, to name a flat file that is a standard practice so then I need to somewhere say it's not so let me create the flat file first and then I need to tell to Informatica it's not Oracle object it's a flat file object so I can change it here I have a lot of options here so the moment I put flat file uh, the advanced tab will come and the delimited or fixed width it will ask me so I'll go with delimited and I will say the delimiter as pipe and the code page I will leave it as MS Windows Latin so my flat file is ready with all the columns which are there in employees table with pipe uh, delimiter so now let's go to the mapping designer and do a mapping to load into this flat file so i'll name the mapping as m underscore ff employees so my source is still the employees table and the target this time is ff underscore employees so i'm not going to do any transformation it's a direct load so i can do an auto link it will link by name between the source qualifier and the flat file i am saving it and now i will prepare a workflow for so I'm creating a workflow here called WFF underscore FF underscore employees and I'm creating a task S underscore FF underscore employees. I'm going to select this mapping for this session and uh, connect this. So I'll enable, I'll set the default properties, the standard properties which we discussed earlier. So here if you see I'm not giving any target connection value because target is a flat file save the session log for last five runs and stop on errors one so this is my dollar source variable so here when it comes to the target the there are some properties we need to set here so yeah the first property is basically append if it exists so if this means append if it exists so that means if the file exists append the records to the file uh, which is already existing with the same name so by default the output uh, file the type is uh, file here and uh, output file directory is dollar pm target file directory i will show you which directory it is and the name of the output file is ff employees one dot out so i'll leave it like that and there is a bad file here in case there are any rejected records uh, it will put into this one so I can always override whatever uh, settings I have made at the mapping level in the session level. So if I want to change the delimiter, I can change it here. But I'm going to leave it like this. It's a good practice to uh, set something at the mapping level and then use it the same setting at the session level unless you want to uh, uh, share one mapping across multiple sessions and do some change in the session uh, override uh, the setting which you made in the mapping in the session level that's fine but generally if uh, the, you, you, you're you using one session for one mapping it's always good to do something at the mapping level and bring it to the session level so we have set the necessary properties in the 
session level for this target so let's now uh, see how let's now run this and see you can see that uh, it is running now and 107 records are loaded so let's go and see how the target file looks like so your target file directory is uh, c informatica 9.01 server info share tgt files so let's see how this looks like so let me check the line numbers so there are 107 records in this file and uh, they're all each record is uh, having multiple columns which are delimited by pipe so that is what we have given in case there are no values so it will just consecutive delimiters will come without any data so that means there is no data in this column in this record so that's how you load into the flat files so in the next video we will see how to load into multiple targets one flat file and one table and how to load into multiple targets uh, when you load into multiple targets you can specify the order in which they have to be loaded so that is called target load plan in the next video we will see these two topics